does one go about building a product of excellence? How does one get their brand noticed on the market? If we're talking boats, I think I know the answer to this one. No secrets, the yacht just needs to be perfect. And this is what the Salico Boat Yard has always done. It's not a big company, but it is very well known for one of their models and has an interesting history. It's one of the most beautiful boats, but it's been knocked by the crisis, so only a few have been built. The Spider 46 GTS. Its wonderful form has been designed by Novellari and Leonard, two big names in contemporary boats. We tried this boat out already, a special version with a gold and black shiny top. This one here is a little more sober, but very classy. On this example, there are two Volvo Penta 435 horsepower engines with IPS propulsion. What's the advantage to that? Well, there's the joystick to maneuver, and it has very low consumption. Sailing early in the morning is an amazing experience for all your senses. The smell of the sea, the feeling of freedom, the infinite horizon, and this boat just makes me feel good. It's just the right size, 46 feet, a little less than 15 meters. A boat designed to sail well. Brunello and Compara designed it. He's also designed competition boats, so he knows how a hull should be. It's got a long bow, high and proud. You're ready to confront whatever wave comes your way. The bridge at the stern reaches down to the sea to remind you of how nice it is to take a dip. Too romantic? Well, let's take it for a spin. The yachts from this boatyard are so elegant, comfortable and luxurious too. And then you find yourself at the helm and you feel like you're in charge of a sports boat. And it's really sporty. It reacts when you change gear. When I accelerate, there's a good feeling because I act and she reacts. It's like being at the wheel of a car that really holds the road. We're moving along from Genova towards Portofino. So let's have a look at some data. We're consuming 4.2 litres per mile and we're doing 2,600 revs a minute. Ideal cruising speed, 25 knots. The boat is slipping through the water and look how clean the wake is. So now for a bit more juice. Mamma mia, look how nice this is. 33 knots and we're consuming 4.3 litres a mile. Fantastic. This seems to be its best speed. I haven't used the flaps at all and the axis has stayed straight. Now we'll go top whack. A few waves, but it goes smoothly, not bumpy at all. At this speed, the coast is ticking along quite nicely. And a top speed of 36.8 knots, wonderful. And considering that we've got a full tank of petrol, there's water and all the furnishings, the galley is full because it's ready to sail, ready to cruise. The weight to power ratio right now is 18 kilos per horsepower, and we're doing nearly 37 knots, which I can assure you is quite phenomenal. It's so wonderful sailing at this speed. You get there in half the time. And so, what do you do when you get there? Well, I'm going to have a look at the boat. It's a big open with a whole deck available to sunbathe on, from bow to stern. 
Then you can relax on the sofas and take some refreshment behind the driver's seat, because there's a kitchen and a fridge too. A boat that welcomes 10 people during daylight hours and offers lots of space to sit and relax. Finishings are over and above expectations of even the most demanding owner. The materials have worked with such attention, which means that they only come from the best artisans. The difference from other yachts comes in the details too. The Sarnico boatyard knows that the sea is stronger than any boat, so under this shiny shell, there's a solid structure. The windscreen, for example, leaves no doubt on the building philosophy on this boat. The best place for the owner's cabin is in the centre of the boat, always the best place to relax, because vibration and noise is at a minimum. At the bow, there's another cabin. This could be the owner's quarters, as there is lots of space, even for a wardrobe. Below deck, there's a square with a sofa and cooking area, which has everything in it. Everything for the table is perfectly ordered and signed. There's only one bathroom, but it's big and there's a separate shower. If you want to know how it's all been put together, it's time to get back sailing. Captain, full speed ahead. Listen, you can hear noises, but no moving of the furniture or cables or tubes, because everything is solid and compact. It's a boat with substance. It doesn't just look good, so you can rest assured. In fact, you can sleep well, because it's a Sarnico.